Beloved in our Lord Jesus Christ, we are entering into another book. We are done with titles and we are reading Philemon, the book of Philemon. This is the word of God. Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our beloved fellow worker and Ephia, our sister, and Aphibus, our fellow soldier, and the church in your house, grace to you and peace from God, our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and for all the saints. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the heart of the saints have been refreshed through you. Accordingly, though, I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do what is required. Yet for love's sake, I prefer to appeal to you. I, Paul, an old man, and now a prisoner also for Christ Jesus, I appeal to you for my child Onesimus, whose father I became in my imprisonment. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he is indeed useful to you and to me. I'm sending him back to you, sending my very heart. I would have been glad to keep him with me in order that he might serve me on your behalf during my imprisonment for the gospel. But I prefer to do nothing without your consent in order that your goodness might not be by compulsion but of your own accord. For this perhaps is why he was parted from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a large brother, especially me, God must serve you both in the flesh and in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, receive him as you would receive me, if he had wronged you at all or owes you anything charge that to my account i paul write this with my own hand i will repay it to say nothing of your owing me even your own self yes brother i want some benefit from you in the law refresh my heart in christ confident of your obedience i write to you knowing that you will do even more than I say. At the same time, prepare a guest room for me, for I am hoping that through your prayers, I will be graciously given to you. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends greetings to you. And so do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit.